Hello friends, my name is Chetan Vadadia and today we are going to study about permutations and combination in detail guys. So before starting directly permutation and combination, first of all you should know about factorial notation. So let us start with that factorial notation. Actually factorial notation is a shortcut that will help you to count the numbers. How? Let me tell you. If you want to multiply 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or if you want to write down 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, directly you can write down this as 4 factorial. 4 factorial that is actually 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. When I say 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So instead of this directly I can write down 7 factorial. Okay, so this is shortcut. When I say 5 factorial, actually 5 factorial means 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So this is actually shortcut to represent this type of number. This is shortcut. Now, this shortcut is used for natural numbers. Let me tell you how. You cannot say minus 6 factorial. Means you cannot say minus 6 into minus 5 into minus. This is not defined. Actually, this is not defined. You can use only natural numbers from 1 factorial to infinity in greater order. But, but, but. Actually, they had given term for 0 factorial also. 0 factorial is not, 0 is not a natural number. Then also they are given that 0 factorial is 1. Okay. So, we are going to solve few sums related to this. Let me start. If I say your first question, 12 factorial upon 10 factorial. Oh, sorry. What you are going to do? 12 into 10, 11 into 10. Directly, I am writing 10 factorial here and in denominator, directly 10 factorial. So, you can cancel this and whatever is remaining here, you can multiply 12 into 11. So, 11, 12, the 22, 2 carry and 122. So, this way you can use this shortcuts to count also. Let me give you one more example. 5 factorial upon 3 factorial into 2 factorial. So, actually you need to elaborate 5 into 4 into 3 factorial upon 3 factorial. We can directly cancel. So, I am not opening it, but I am opening this 2 factorial as 2 into 1. Now, you can cancel this to 1s are, to 2s are. So, your answer will be 10. So, this is actually factorial that is going to help you. Now, let us start permutation and combination. Actually, these two are principles of counting first of all we will understand what is principle of counting let me tell you if you are having two pants and three shirt in how many different ways you can wear pair of one shirt and one pant in how many different ways so let me write down two pants so p1 and P2 and three shirts so S1, S2 and S3. So you can wear this like P1 and S1, P1 and S2 also, P1 and shirt 3. You can wear in this combination also and P2, S1, P2, S2, P3, S3. So you can wear this in six ways. You can wear two pants and three shirts in six different ways. So this is actually principle of counting. We are counting like this. Now we are having two different arrangements for this type of counting. One is permutation and one is combination that we are going to understand. Now let us start with one more example. Suppose you are having a word number and you want to make a word with three letters 
out of this in or you can say how many words with three letter you can make out of this six letters of number so we can start from this n u m or you can write down u m b or you can write down m b e so you can write down or you can find out many so that is one pattern that will help you how you are having total six different letters and you want to make a word with three letter so first of all you are having six so out of this six you can use any six here then you can out of the six one letter is gone so you can use any five and then out of that five also one you will remove here so four so you can make six into five into four that is six five are thirty thirty four is a one twenty you can make one twenty words of three let out of this guys so this is called permutation permutation is actually an arrangement so this is called an arrangement guys you just need to remember this word arrangement whenever arrangement is there you need to do permutation so permutation is actually a arrangement in a definite order of a number object taken some or all at a time so this is one type of arrangement now one difference is there in combination so that let me explain this is also a principle of counting now let me tell you about combination now let me tell you the difference between permutation and combination how suppose you are having this letter 2 3 and 4 can you tell me how many different three digit numbers you can make with this you are having so three digit number you want to make directly in first box 3 are there so 3 then out of this 3 we had selected 1 so 2 and then remaining is 1 so you can make 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 different number three digit numbers can be make out of this digit 2 3 and 4 this is called permutation so here order is very much important because you can see uh, let me give you practical practical example 2 3 4 or you can take 3 2 4 you can take 4 3 2 3, or 3 4 2 so here order is important because 3 and 2 is here here 3 and 4 is there 4 and 2 4 and 3 and 3 and 4 so in this permutation order is very important guys so order is important and you order will give you different numbers so order is important but in combination let me tell you if you are having 2 3 and 4 if you want to make team of two two persons two two persons then what you can say i will select 2 and 3 then 3 and 4 then 2 and 4 then 3 and 2 here you can see 2 and 3 is already there so this is a team of 2 and 3 3 and 2 is also a team having 2 and 3 players only so this will not work in combination so this we need to remove in combination so specific collection of object is there so here order is not important and not taken you can say order is not taken or in consideration so this you need to keep in mind order is not taken into consideration only the numbers are considered so this is combination and this is permutation let me give you the definitions and the derivation also i will tell you directly again we are moving towards the same number so that will help you you are having six letters and how we i had told you that you need to make 
three box and you need to find out first of all six then one is removed so five and four this way we are finding right but directly i am going to tell you the formula or for finding permutation that is n into p r or you can say n factorial upon n minus r factorial into bracket so directly if you will multiply 6 into 5 into 4 what you are getting 120 here we are going to solve by this the same thing n factorial means the number how many numbers are there that is n so here we will get 6 factorial upon 6 minus what is r how many boxes are there that is your r so that is 3 minus factorial so you will get 6 factorial upon 6 minus 3 3 factorial so 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial by 3 factorial this will get cancelled and this here you will again get 6 into 5 into 4 that is 120 guys so this is the formula for finding the permutation of any number you can say now for combination again you are having one formula little bit different guys suppose what we had taken that 2 3 and 4 as I told you that only number order we don't have to consider so 2 3 3 4 and 4 2 other than that we cannot make so 3 are there so what is the formula again that same type n into combination into r will give you n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial means we need to remove that combination that is in reverse form so that's why again in denominator we had taken one separate r factorial because sometimes 3 2 will also come so that 3 2 we need to remove so how we can remove that 3 2 or 4 3 or 2 4 with the help of this guys so that's why here n factorial so here we are having total 3 so 3 factorial upon 3 minus 2 boxes are there so 2 and then factorial and directly r is 2 so 2 factorial so 3 factorial upon 3 minus 2 1 factorial into 2 factorial so directly 3 into 2 factorial 1 factorial is 1 only and here 2 factorial 2 factorial 2 factorial will go away and you will get 3 so this is the formula for combination of numbers and this is called for permutation of numbers so these are the two formulas guys for permutation and combination and this way we can solve thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends guys thank you so much bye bye